first of all, good afternoon, Petri. Um, nice to meet you. My name is Yolanda. And um, thank you very much for taking a few minutes to talk with me and greetings from all the staff of Max Metal. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. <laughs> Before starting, I would like to congratulate you and, and the rest of the band members for the new album. Thalassic, I think, is always a good news to publish albums and moreover in, in these difficult times. I think it's a great decision and a gift for the public that is at home now. Yeah, I think it's also a good idea to bring out the album even though the situation is what it is right now. And uh, we also considered moving the schedule for, I don't know, later this year or even till next year, but decided it's, it's better to have it out now when it's still really fresh. So, and it was a good choice. Yeah, I also, uh, before starting some questions, uh, we hope that you, your family and, and the other band members are you being healthy and living with this situation as better as possible that I think is, is the most important? Yeah, everybody is doing fine. Okay. Staying a lot. So, well, we got actually nowhere to go, really, so. Yeah, good to hear yeah. that. <laughs> so, uh, you are a lot of uh, members in the band. How was to having to stop all your musical activity and how are you doing now? Um, we've been having a few rehearsals every now and then, just, you know, keep a little bit of the music still fresh. And, uh, well, it's been extremely weird to be this long at home. Yeah. I think the last time I had this long summer vacation, I think maybe I was like five years old, you know, before the school starts. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is... This is absolutely weird. I don't know, but uh, I try to enjoy it myself. You know, it's just um, you know, recharge my batteries to get ready for next year. Because I think when this Corona thing blows over, I think it's gonna get really, really busy. Yeah, my my next question is related with that because I would like to to question how is the the creative part, uh, being at home, and of e or if you are constantly in touch, sharing ideas with the other members, or if you are combining this with other hobbies, or maybe uh, trying to to learn new instruments, or I don't know. Uh, we've been checking out some new stuff uh, lately. A couple of sessions at the rehearsal place checking out new stuff so uh try to also use this time while we have you know in a useful way and we're not just you know hanging out at home and doing nothing uh we'll see how this one actually goes i haven't picked up any new instruments i think i'm too lazy for <laughs> okay yeah. Uh, so, uh, you mentioned me something, but the album uh, went on sale uh, last July. This was the first day that you had in mind? Can you repeat that one? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the last album was, uh, was on sale uh, in July, two months ago. Was the first date of release that uh, you had in mind? Uh, yeah, it was the original release date and we stick to that one, yes. Okay, so um, uh, it, it will be the first time that you release the album and you cannot uh, tour immediately, let's say. So what expectations do you have for, for this album and how has how was been the promotion of this album from home? Uh, the feedback from the album has been really great. A lot of people seem to really, really like it a lot. And um, this is the first time when we're not going on tour right after the release. Uh, and also not playing any festivals since uh, yeah. it was coming out in the middle of the festival season here in Europe. And uh, that was our plan to have a big release party in Summer Breeze Festival in Germany in August, but 
well, everything got canceled. But um, hopefully people will know the new songs also very well already when we finally get on tour. So, you know, a lot of songs will be sang along then. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> It's a good vision. So, um, are you aware of the reviews of the album from each country? Because, of course, you can read uh, reviews in in English or in your language. But, for example, from Spain, because the lang language is always a barrier. But from at least uh, in Spain, your new work has been very well received. Yeah, I've been doing few interviews too over there, and uh, so far a lot of positive feedback like i said before and uh i haven't been reading that many reviews because there is literally hundreds of them so yeah. it, it would take a lot of time but actually i got nothing else to do so i might start checking them out you know if i really get that bored yeah 100 is a, is a lot <laughs> yes. uh, so you have done uh, some uh, initiatives uh, as the video clip of from woman victory uh, because you recorded uh, each member at home and you mix uh, together also with the, some performance of some fans. Have you plans to do some next video clip uh, like that or other surprise during this month? Um, no other plans for some new, new videos that much. Um, there is a video coming out pretty soon. Okay. I, I think that is just a uh, lyric video. Right now, I can't even remember what song we picked for that one, but you'll oh, you'll see. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if we get good ideas, then then we might do something something more at home. But uh, right now, we got no plans. Okay. Uh and about the album, uh, you have um, played or you have released this album with the fact that it's more conceptual and all the, the songs are related with the sea, with uh, seafaring stories, le le legends, mythology. Um, where did this inspiration come from? Uh, the idea came from our bass player, Sami, who is mainly very very much responsible for all the lyrics in answer firm since he joined and uh he already had the idea a couple of years ago to make a theme album and well the time was right he had very much all the ideas for the lyrics of all the songs ready so uh we decided to go for it actually we never had any theme album before Right now, what's the time for that one? Okay, uh, 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 the truth is that I have listened to the, the album too, and I it has surprised me very well. I like it too much. Um, yeah, it's, it's always difficult to try to do uh, new things, and for me, the sound of, of this album is is perfect. And one of my favorite uh, songs is the the last one, the called Northland. I, I have no doubt uh, about that. And after more than 10 years, you have decided to continue with this saga, the Vainamoinen, sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, so why was now the time to, to do this uh, song? Um, that is an excellent question. When Marcus brought the ideas for the cold Northland to the rehearsal place, we immediately had the feeling that this sounds like the older times of Fantasy Fair very much. And uh, Marcos had the idea that this could be the third part of Dynamite in Fantasy Fair's catalog. So uh, we did that one. And also Dynamite, he's, he's rowing on a boat at the end of the song. So, uh, he also fits with the water team what we had. And did you try to maintain some elements of the of the other two uh, songs? I don't know if you listen again and, or you keep some parts, musical parts, or is totally new? Everything is totally new. Uh, 
on cold northland we really wanted to have also the uh the older ancestral vibe in it not go too much out of the i don't know how to actually say that one but too far ahead you know since we tend to do that one at some certain songs you know adding some disco parts and stuff like that but uh this was not it so uh we wanted to keep it kind of simple in a way and there are some special songs for you in in this album or you are going to say that uh, you cannot choose one one song because all are special <laughs> Yeah, it's it's always a hard one when new album comes out because all the songs are still very fresh, and uh, we have played now two sh two shows with this one. The other one was the the live stream, and then we played the one festival show over here in Finland last month, and uh, so kind of hard to say which will be the most favorite song of the album. But right now, I have to say them all ah okay okay yeah. uh, so you told me that you were playing uh, in finland in finland last month yes there was so, one festival where we took part uh sari helvet that was is uh was organized in tampere okay because i was doing some uh research about you or the band and i didn't i didn't read that so uh, how was the concert it was great you know, uh, it's a small one. It's on a small island organized over there. And uh, it was a really hot, sunny day. And I uh, we went to swim on the lake, you know, had some kebab food over there, getting the festival feeling back. And uh, the show was really great. It was awesome to be on stage after eight months, yeah. actually. Yeah, the last show while we played that was in, in USA in last December so uh, it was it was nice to be on stage and uh, a lot of public or people yes it was sold out on both days Friday and Saturday congratulations so, yeah uh, okay so more or less the the last uh, question about the album you you released this album also with Metal Blade Records uh, you are uh, I think is uh, the third or the fourth album that you release with Metal Blade, if I'm not wrong. Uh, how is the experience with this discography? Or, yeah. Uh, it's working really good. Um, the guys at Metal Blade really knows what they're doing. It's a... I think they started at the 80s already, so okay. they... Yeah, okay. they were like very well. They can handle themselves and they yeah. know the business very well. So it's it's a very, very big honor actually to be at Metal Blaze right now. Okay. Um, you had also uh, confirmed many days for this summer. Uh, and in fact, you were even going uh, to visit Spain in Leyendas del Rock. And unfortunately, the, this date has been postponed. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know anything about these dates and if you con uh, assume that these concerts will be performed again? I mean the next uh, year? Uh, very many of the festivals have been postponed as they were till 2021 summer. So uh, hopefully it will stay like that, but time will tell how everything goes and uh, Hopefully we get to play all the festivals next summer, what we were supposed to play this summer and even more. So, okay, so you don't have, because I know, or I, I assume that Leyendas del Rock will fight to maintain you in the, in the lineup, but you don't have any offer or more offers to come to Spain in some more festival in Spain next year. Uh, okay. Not at the moment, no, not at the moment, no. Okay, uh, so as you have been many times in Le Leyendas del Rock, uh, do you keep any special memory of this festival? Uh, and do you know something else about the Spanish culture? Uh, we've been playing there quite a few times all mm -hmm. over Spain, but uh, 
what I can remember, it's always way too hot for Finnish people over there in the summer. And uh, Leandas de Rock, it was pretty cool. We saw Abath over there in the backstage. He was doing funny stuff. And uh, we were also having pretty cool evening with Sabaton over there. Oh. We were staying in the same hotel. So we were having some dinner and drinks at the hotel. So those are those are the ones ones what I can remember from that one. Yeah, that's perfect. I think it's good. <laughs> so um, and about the next tour, um, well, the the next tour that we don't know where we could be able to do. Uh, you are going to perform also some dates uh, in Finland in November. Uh, do you have plans to tour to tour outside of your country this year or? Uh, um, first months of the next year? Um, right now we have two shows booked in Helsinki. Mm. I think it's actually in December. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah but these, these are the, the only two shows what are confirmed for this year. So uh, since this corona situation is kind of like changing almost every two weeks to um, different direction yeah. so it's hard to make any plans hopefully everything would go back next year like it was so we could get back playing real shows all over the world but it's really hard to say right now how things yeah. are going to in january february and from that on and your idea is to do a tour based on the new album or to do something different not just based in the last album or would you like no to do idea. i have no idea because we don't have a tour yet you know yes. uh yeah when once we get i don't know can we even you know trust to a hundred percent information about corona that it would be gone and everything will go to normal can we still trust that one but uh, I think we are going to focus pretty pretty much on songs from Thalassic album, but we also always try to involve songs from basically each and every album what we have done into the set list. So there is all songs from all the albums involved in it. Uh, also, where when I was doing some research, uh, I focus on that you have a uh, an live DVD, but it's from some years ago. So maybe it's a good idea if you visit Spain next year, you can record a new uh, DVD, for example, in Leyendas del Rock. It would be really nice. Yeah, um, there is just uh, like an unfortunate setback with live DVDs that uh, they're not selling anymore nowadays that much as they did like 10 15 years ago yes. you know but you, you can see all the shows on youtube so yeah. it's it's a pretty big risk and uh Ansifero might not be that big of a band that the record label would go for that one since the expenses are pretty high because the quality yeah. needs to be good and stuff like that so uh but you never know let's see how, how what the future will show yeah, yeah, I don't think in that point the the price consuming. Yeah, the, you you are totally right. Okay, so more or less I finish with this part also the the questions. Um, just two two more questions. Uh, I would like to ask you if this situation uh, give you to learn something from the future, and if you can give uh, any advice to other colleges in in the sector. Um, to living with uh, with this situation or for the future yeah well i can just speak from myself that uh from now on when a band is playing close to my hometown or whatever i'm gonna go and see the show because you know suddenly everything was cancelled nobody is playing anywhere for a long long time and nobody knows when the next song is gonna happen so yeah when your favorite bands are close to your hometown, go check them out. You know, don't count on it that they will come out. You know, next year again, I'll go see that show or whatever. Just go and support. Good doing live shows is 
the key to stay alive in this music business nowadays. So we we need all of you at the shows physically. Be there. Would you like to assist to any style or do you prefer just metal and just just metal or rock? Um I listen to all kind of music nowadays, not just metal and rock music. There is a lot of pop, disco even. Yesterday, I actually bought a Captain Jack album from uh, Flea Market. It was one euro, so uh, wow. it was very well invested. Yes. <laughs> so, um, you know, tend to get bored right now staying at home. So checking out a little bit more the music scene from all different parts and uh, just, I don't know, try to stay positive, you know, in this corona yeah. lockdown situation. Yeah. Okay. So finally, uh, just if you could give us some uh, musical recommendations or for these days, or you discover new bands uh, or movies, series, books, uh, you can choose. Um, I've been watching a little bit of Netflix, quite a lot actually. Um, as as and, uh, all of us. Yeah, yeah. I was just the last one. What I was checking was called. The 100. Ah, okay. Yeah, they got, I think it was like three seasons right now. I'm on the season three right now. And um, for a musical stuff, I gotta say the new Catatonia album, The City Burials, is really, really good. Yes. Okay, I think it's good. Okay, so that was all my questions. So uh, thank you very much for doing this interview with us. Uh, we hope uh, to see you in the stage, in live stage so soon. And for the moment, take care. Yes, de nada. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, yeah. so it's perfect. Thank you very much. And sorry for the delay of yesterday. Um, I, that's all I think. Yeah, it's all good. Thank you very much. Okay, so have a nice day. Yes, you too. See you soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.